Uh, let's welcome Ileana Alvarado. She's the Director of Innovation here at Evans Consulting and is here to lead us through our next exercise. Ileana, hey. Hey there, Russ. Thank you so much. It's uh, crazy to feel super relaxed now and you know energized at the same time. So thank you so much for that, uh, Beth. Uh, welcome, everyone. Really excited to be here and share with you a bit more information about Evan's new Healthy Teams tool. I'm going to share my screen and hopefully it's working here for you all. Great. So with all the information that we heard uh, earlier, you may be wondering, um, you know, what do I do now within my own organization and with my team? And so I'm going to navigate us through a journey to understand some um, applicable strategies and tools that you can use within your own organization and within your teams to start building a healthy team. So for this journey, you will need Menti. Um, if you were not on earlier at the beginning and didn't get access to that link, we'll provide that to you shortly. And you'll also see that come through on the chat. So with that, let's start our journey. First, I'm going to introduce you to a cast of characters. And so we're going to learn more about the individuals that are experiencing, you know, just what's been happening over the last uh, 18 months within their own organizations and see who it is that we'd like to follow. So I'll start first with Alpha, owner and CEO of a small business enterprise. And what we've learned from Alpha is that attrition rates are up and revenue is down. Alpha doesn't have the budget for an HR team, but needs to get their employees committed and performing to get back on track. The second character in our story is Mew, a team manager at Acme Company, which is a fairly large organization. And Mew has to tell us that 2021 has been tough. I very much care about my team. Uh, I care about the work that they're doing. Um, whether they're at home or at work, but I don't have a lot of experience supporting a virtual team, much less a hybrid team. How do I keep everyone motivated? And then finally, we have Omicron, who is a virtual team member working within a five-person team uh, remotely. And what Omicron has to say is, I care about my performance and my team, but I'm burnt out. The stress of having my kids at home has been overwhelming, not to mention my constant headaches from too many online meetings. So here we have Alpha, Mu, and Omicron. And what we're going to do is decide which character we'd like to follow through the Healthy Teams journey. And so if you can go to menti.com and enter the code that you see at the top, I'm going to give you a minute or so to decide which character we'd like to follow. So we have Alpha and Mu almost neck to neck. Omicron potentially coming through. Mu is taking the lead here. All right, just a few more seconds. I think we have about 50 people on, so I'll wait until we get to a little bit more. Almost 20% have voted. Or I'm sorry, almost 50% have voted. Okay, I think Mew is the winner. So let's take a look at Mew again. So Mew is a team manager with Acme Company, so fairly large organization, but maybe has a smaller team and really cares about keeping uh, their employees motivated. So let's see what Mew has to do in applying the Healthy Teams tool. So first, uh, Mew is going to have access to an assessment. And what they can expect in this assessment is an evaluation of five areas of what we believe to be high-performing teams. And these areas are alignment, collaboration, empowerment, resilience, and trust and well-being. So you heard many of these things come up earlier uh, with our panelists. Uh, when Mew decides to take the assessment, it will take approximately 10 minutes to complete and will provide a measurement in these areas to really understand where is the team having challenges as it relates to alignment, mental and emotional health, and an ability to communicate with each other. So Mew is really interested. What can I find out about my team? Mew is going to click on Take Assessment. There's going to be a number of questions that comes up in the assessment. So to give you an example of some of those questions, 
We have things like team alignment. How is my organization's values, or how does my organization value my team's contributions? We look at collaboration. Are team members forthcoming with information uh, that we need to succeed? And then in trust and well being, I can lean on my team when I need support. Just to give you some representative questions that Mew is seeing as they take this assessment. So Mew completes the assessment and clicks submit and is excited to see what results display. So Mew is going to get these results that show some information about how their team is performing given their feedback in the areas that I mentioned, trust and well-being, resilience, empowerment, collaboration, and alignment. And you'll see that there is a bar chart here that shows how are they performing based on this heat map. So at this point, we are going to decide what do we do next? Now that we have some more information about how our team is performing, where do we want to go on our journey? So with Mew, we can take a look at the learning library within the Healthy Teams tool and evaluate some of these engaging activities, other tools, theories, and resources. We can call an expert for help. Maybe it's so overwhelming and I just don't know where to begin, so I need to speak with somebody. Or, you know, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed and I just want to take a nap. So we're going to decide as a team, what are we going to do next? Would you like to see engaging activities? Do you want to call an expert for help? Or are you feeling tired and we need to take a break? Okay, people are feeling as energized as I am. Let's, let's see it. Show me the money. What are the engaging activities that we have? We have about 15 people in, so I'll give you a chance to vote if you haven't done so yet. Okay. A couple of people want to call an expert for help. We are always here to support and help you along your journey. It looks like Mew is interested in exploring the learning library. So let's go ahead and do that. Show me these activities. Well, here we are. Welcome to the Healthy Teams Learning Library. What you will access here are modules in the areas that we know build a healthy team. So in this case, Mew has decided that um, maybe resilience was one that they're very interested in. And within this learning library, Mew can access any of these modules at any time in any order. There is no descriptive process for how Mew will follow along in this path. And so for now, we're going to go ahead and click on resilience and see what information comes up. Within the learning library, there are a number of resources. There is more information about what resilience is about. There's more information on theories and resources that you can access if it's a topic that's not familiar to you, in this case to Mew. And then there are strategies and activities that you can work on to build these attributes within your team. So as an example here, we have activities for one-on-one -on -one interactions with individual team members. So again, Mu is a manager of teams, maybe one or maybe many. And so we wanna give Mu an opportunity to apply these strategies in multiple settings. In this example, there's a good versus grit activity for an individual team member. Then there's an activity for the next team meeting. So if you'd like to apply something with, uh, with all of your team members, you can do this in a team setting. This example is turning pressure into performance. And when Mew clicks into uh, each of these links, they will get access to a PDF of all of the resources and guidance to facilitate this conversation or these activities. So it's a step-by-step -step instruction on what to do with the corresponding resources. And then finally, there is a workshop. So if you'd like to do a deeper dive with your team, in this example, it's a force field analysis, then Mew, as the manager, can set aside time. And we have recommendations from 15 minutes to 20 minutes to a half day event where uh, they can run through and um, go through again the step by steps to facilitate this particular conversation with their team. 
Again, much more information available in the learning library within each of these modules that um, will track the assessment as they're completed. The assessment can be taken more than once. So you can see historically over time how your team is performing. So congratulations to Mew. They are well on their way to building a healthy team within their organization. And I'm very pleased and excited to announce that our healthy teams tool is coming very, very soon. And I look forward to hearing from you all, hearing your feedback and hope you enjoy the process and your own journey.